Hello, I'm Buda Feb and welcome to episode 20 of my Denton Villa series. As always, thanks for joining me. I massively appreciate it. While you're here, why not smash the freaking like button? And if you are brand new, feel free to subscribe. Come and join the Denton Army. Um, I've sent all my shirts out, so if you were a competition winner, you will soon be the proud owner of one of these bad boys. Hey, eh? uh, also sent anyone who's ordered a jacket. I've sent your jackets out. Um, also, I got confirmation this morning that Craig Hart has his game. Um, so as soon as I get all the guys' pictures from the competition winners, I will show you, just so you know they won. Uh, the three guys who won a shirt will now become fans in the series, which I love, honestly. Can't wait to have millions of you wearing yellow Denton Villa shirts. Right, today's episode is a big episode, massive live con, because we're playing Leighton Orient away in the league. Leighton Orient, who are the they're the freaking league favourites by some margin. Big team. Probably should be a league club. Um, so it's going to be a massive game, but where are they in the league? Are they living up to those high expectations? Where are we in the league? It's interesting. I've played about seven games off camera. Uh, we're going to have a look at some of the stats in the league, how the team's doing so far. Uh, I'm excited, man. As always. And I'm rocking the full black and yellow. Steal a hat, man. Full on black and yellow. Right, Denton Army. Let's get into it. Before we get into the games, I don't think I've ever said this on camera, but my introduction video at the start of every episode has the black and yellow theme tune to it. Someone asked me once, why didn't I use the black and yellow song? Well, I have. Honestly, I have. Uh, I found it, because you've got to watch out for copyright. Um, a very famous violinist in America did his own version, right? So I actually messaged him on YouTube. I didn't think he'd get back to me. And I said, oh, I'd love your song. I'm doing this series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to use it. Honestly, two days later, sends me a message giving me permission. So I have actually got permission to use that song. It's a proper song. Uh, fun fact. There you go. Fun Denton Villa fact of the day. But let's forget that. And the first game I played uh, since we drew in the opener against Manchester Central was at home against Solihull Moors. And we picked up three points, which is brilliant. We beat them. 3-1, uh, Collins, Ben Maltz, and Joe Page, the youngster. Then we're off to the mighty Super Rich, Bill Ricky, and wow, what a freaking, what a game. 5-3, goals everywhere. Yeah, Raven got two, Collins got another one, that's centre-half again. Um, they probably deserve to win. I was just more pissed off that we let five goals in. Look at PJ Harvey, whoever he is, we centre-half. Not only did he get booked... I think he got the lowest score. I'll be honest with you, in 20 years of playing, I don't think I've ever had a player who's got an average rating of four. And he got 4.6. I've had many fives, but 4.6. But boom, we bounced back and scored five goals of our own. I must apologise to Mr. Bilzy, great YouTuber, great content creator, and great support of my channel. Um, check him out. Honestly, I'll put a link to his channel down below in the description. Well worth a look. He is a 25-year season ticket holder at Tranmere. So I'm very sorry, but we gave your boys an ass kicking. Uh, Kano got two goals. Well done, lad. Joe Brown, Ryan Waller scored, and so did Stuart Hansen in a bang even game. <laughs> Up next, Wrexham came to Shirley Hill, and we beat these guys 2-0. Kept a clean sheet, which we're super happy about. Uh, Curtis Bishop scored. Kano scored in the 92nd minute, which we're really happy about. Honestly. Should have probably been 10 nil to us. Started to pile up them wins and pile up them points. And we went away to Dagenham and Redbridge and beat these boys 3 1. Uh, Marcus Day got a, on the score sheet. Uh, Adam Briggs got a goal. And Brett Wood scored, the young right winger. Well done, Brett. Uh, again, but we bossed this. We're looking pretty good, really. And my young team kept on picking up the points. And we are definitely looking good because we beat the mighty FC Halifax 2 1. Um, Probably should have been more, to be honest with you. But Bishop scored, Dixon scored a penalty. Uh, Raven got man in the match. That kid is having a great start to his season. But unfortunately, in the last game, we played Sutton at home and we drew 3 3. Would have made a great live comp just because of all the goals and the excitement. It was a very even game. It was brilliant. Real ding dong battle, back and forth tennis match. Uh, Marcus Day got another goal, which was happy with. Uh, Cal Barlow scored and Brett Wood got another one. Here we are with the Vanarama National League at this moment in time and Barnett are at the top. Today's opponents and favourites to win this league, Leighton Orient, are second, so they've started well. 
Uh, we're in fifth, which is weirdly where the bookies think we'll finish. So we're living up to their expectations. Uh, Billericchi are above us in fourth. Manchester Central, though, who has been predicted to be third, are struggling. Uh, they're down in 15th, although they have signed since the last episode a lot of players. They've brought in 10, 12 to fill all the ones they've lost. So they've got a full squad. I just don't know what his quality is like, but um, at least they've got some players in. It'll be interested to see if they can pick up some points as the season progresses, but at the minute they are disappointing. Uh, we've got nobody in the gold charts or average rating charts, but I'm okay with that. If we stay in the playoffs, I'm okay with that. Seriously, I'm happy. Let's get looking at some stats so far. I do like a few stats. And we're going to look at attendances first. But apparently, we're the fourth biggest club in the league, which is brilliant. Every year, our fan base is growing and growing and growing. All right? And that's how it should be, innit? I'm buzzing with that. Uh, teams above us, Wrexham. Tranmere, both you know, league, old league teams, and Leighton Orient, an old league team. Then we've got Hartlepool, an old league team behind us. So we're up there with some big, 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 big teams at this level. One thing we've got to be conscious about today is that Leighton Orient have so far got the best defence in the league. Um, only conceded three goals. Uh, we're down there, I think it's joint 10th. We've conceded 12. Four times as many. You know, we have let in quite a few. Don't get me wrong, we don't defend that well very young defense but you know I'm, I'm a bit more Kevin Keegan -y. hopefully fingers crossed we're going to score one more than them and this is why I've got that little bit of hope because we're not top of the goal scoring charts that's Barnet who are top of the league with 25 goals but we're not far behind pretty respectable 21 goals today's opponents Leighton Orient are in fifth with 16 so there's, you know there's a good chance we might beat them but it's probably going to be 5-4. One interesting thing is possession. I don't really play too much possession football. A bit more of a get it forward, knock it down the wings, long ball, let's score goals. Um, but Manchester Central are playing the best possession football. So that means, you know, Kyle, Lord, manager of Manchester Central, my old assistant, good lad. Um, is he playing a bit Pep guardiola -y? I just want the kid to mould that team. He's got a lot of new players. Um, they've come with us through the leagues, haven't they? We've had... Promotion after promotion, and they've always come with us. They're our arch rival. It'll be a sad day if we ever get promoted and they don't. We're going to have a look at our finances because we are pretty skint. Reason being, right, is I sent out my scout. We've scouted loads of players. And a lot of these guys are on freebies, or you can approach to sign them. I've, I, I was quite tired, right, and I play this a lot of the time at night when I'm in bed. I was just making these deals happen, thinking, wow, he's... I was trying to fill out, like I said in the last episode, I wanted to fill out my under 18 with some good talent. High prospect players that I'm stealing from other clubs. Got a couple of good ones, we'll have a look in a minute. But some of them had pretty big compensation fees that I wasn't paying any attention to. So I've now put the club in debt. One of them things. But there's one good bit of news. Um, obviously I've brought in a lot of young midfielders. I've signed some ones that were unexpected. And I was going to keep Jason Jacob this year because he's got decent potential ability he's only 24 years old on paper he ain't great but he does a job for you on the pitch um, but obviously bringing in these players I didn't think I needed them so I thought let's get rid of the older player you know me I want to give you the chance I'd rather give my young higher prospect players game time right so put him up for sale and Salford come in with I think it's about 350 right so Salford hopefully they're gonna sign him but the, the transfer window would shut um, and Salford are a League 2 team now so the deal won't go through till January so that's why we've still got him now I have brought in a few young players like I said on freebies they just ended their contract and didn't want to stay where they were or you know approach to sign when you have to give a compensation fee so it's not a transfer fee it's a compensation fee because you're kind of signing them on a free aren't you um, I'm not going to show you them all because I've brought in about 8 players so they're alright they've all got high potential ability well, they're nothing, not ready yet. I just want them to be in the under-18s, you know what I mean? But one I do like is Andy Lamb, who we took from Stockport. Cost us a few quid in compensation. Um, he's only 17, striker, can, can play out on the right wide. He's decent, he's, he's his potential ability and current ability. He could probably do a job in the first team, but what I thought was stick him in the under-18s, let him settle in, which he settled in brilliantly, by the way. Seven games he's played, 
scored five goals. But I see how these young teams are doing. Um, I did say my focus was on Lee, the under 23 manager, and his great young team being successful. But now I've bulked out the under 18s. They've got a decent squad now. Pretty decent, to be fair. It's well rounded. Definitely better than it was. Uh, and they're in a pretty tough league. And they're mid table, unfortunately. But you know, they've got a lot of new players. They've got to get settled. But it's not bad. They're sitting in eighth at the minute. Uh, on nine points, so they're only four points behind Carlisle, who are top of the league. Um, so I wasn't that worried about the under 18s, but I can't lie, they could do well as well. It's great for the club. This is the league, and this is the team I want to be successful. And at the moment, Lee, mate, you're letting, you're letting me down. Uh, they're sitting in fifth, there's only nine teams in their division, and um, sitting in fifth. They've got a game in hand, which if they win, they'll probably go, they'll go to joint third. And only be three points behind top, so it's it's a tight league. There's only there's not many teams, so it's going to be close. Um, and there's a long way to go. Central are in it as well, remember. Um, but I want I, they are a great side with some good players, and they're going to be getting younger players from the first team coming down when they regain in fitness. So I'm expecting something, Lee. Lee, get your acts together, pick up some points. Quick look at my full staff list. You won't be able to see some of the scouts at the bottom. Don't worry about that. But I did mention this, I might have cut it out in my last episode, but everyone's got new deals. All the original guys, who are you subscribers and YouTubers, um, they've all got massive deals until 2025. No one's left, no one's wanting to leave, no one's even coming for you, even though you're pretty good. Which is brilliant really, because I don't want to lose anyone, I'd be, I'd be gutted if I lost one of you. Um, obviously I brought in other staff, but I can't give them uh, long term deals for some reason. Only up to t only like two year contracts. It's me I'm worried about. My deal runs out next year. I might ask for a new one. So, like we did with uh, trying to make the club professional, I thought we'd do this live. Uh, welcome, this is Mick Hucknall, by the way. I don't know where Carl is today. I think he's away in Hollywood on a business trip, watching movies. That's what he does, isn't it? I am the International Movie Database, whatever it's called. I am DB, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, right. Welcome. What would you like to discuss today? Well, Mick, I think I'm pretty awesome. I've got less of the only deal. I want a new one. I would like a new contract to, to as my present deal doesn't have long to run. We agree you deserve a greater job security. Therefore, you will shortly be offered a new contract. Bloody hell, Mickey. That was easy. Should we take a look at who's doing the business for us so far? I know this year's young. The season's not really got going yet. But we have played quite a few games. And uh, I'm always interested to see who started this uh, year well. Uh, obviously, don't worry about him at the top. He's only played one game. A fantastic game. He's only played one. Um, Stuart Hansen. Four games played. Pretty good average rating, that, isn't it? Not bad. Ryan Waller, my backup left winger. Not played many, but he's done well when he has. It's his... The guy above him, though. Raven, I'd say, is top dog at the minute. Look at that. Played five. Two goals, three assists. Well done, Raven. Uh, ben Mult, my new central midfielder. Really starting to... Settle in, find his feet. Brett Wood, the young right winger. Are, are you still watching, Brett? You better have be. You're doing pretty well as well. Uh, let's have a look at goals. Who's scoring the goals for us? Kano is our leading goal scorer. Three goals in six games, which ain't bad, Kane. You know, goal every other game. I'd like to score more. I would. So, uh, sort yourself out. But he openly admits he's got a head the shape of a 50p piece. Which means if it hits his head, it can go anywhere. Um, Brett Wood scored two. So, I mean, the rest of my strikers aren't doing that great, are they? Marcus Day got two goals. Yeah. Where's Husey? Husey. Husey, Husey. You might not be able to see him because of my head. But Husey, Husey, Husey. Let's switch it about. Five games, no goals. Crap average rating. He has spat his dummy out. I might have to give Lammy a chance because you aren't doing it. Well then, today we face Leighton Orient, managed by Mark McGee, a bit of an old school legendary manager. Apparently they are the dream team. That's what it says on their shirts. Um, league club, league club for a very, very long time. And this is their best player, a regent, 19 year old, Alan Ward. To come from their own academy. Great physical, super fast, great passing. Like th this kid at this level would be pretty special. I'd love Alan Ward in my team. Welcome to today's match preview. Uh, the Buckies, 4-4-2. I've got them as favourites. I'd probably have them as favourites. 
bigger team. Favourites for the league. Welcome to Brisbane Road, and here we are with the team lineups. I am giving Hughesy another chance. He's a good player. He needs to hopefully kick it on. Hopefully, if he scores a goal, he'll cheer up. He just needs to sign himself out. Into the changing rooms. Come on, the black and yellow. The Denton Army. This is what it's all about. This is what dreams are made of. This is why I play this game. Games like this. Look at the Champions League. It's Denton Villa versus Leighton Orient, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Right, team talk. I'm going to be calm. I know we're the underdogs. But go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. I like that one. I like it a lot. Alright, we kick off. Kano to Hughes. What a big game from Hughes today. He needs to sort himself out. I'd like a goal from Kano. But I think all eyes are on Raven. The main man, Raven. Have we picked, have we picked up a yellow card on two minutes, Briggsy? Yeah, I would like to confirm that Kane, Mr. Kane Parker, our young star striker, the guy who gave me the game to give you, which was won by Craig Hart, well done Craig, uh, has actually got some more codes. Wow, close. Um, so I should be able to do another game giveaway soon. I'm thinking of doing it differently though, I don't know how to do it. I might make it harder, but uh, there will be more game giveaways. Next season there'll be more shirt giveaways. So you know, if you like to get stuff for free, Keep your eyes on the channel. There's Leighton Orient. What the hell? What the hell's happening then? Well, 50 minutes in, I think we'll get lucky then. I thought we'd give away a penalty, so I paused. Then they end up getting the ball back in it in the post. Raven then. No, he's, Raven's got a banana on him. He needs to get that back. I love us in our home kit. When we play in yellow and black, man, don't get any better, does it? Um, it looks good against that red kit. The dream team. Where you come late in Orient, can they get themselves a goal? They're playing pretty well, passing it nicely. Come on, boys. Come on, Bish. Well done, Bish. You can do this. Pick your heads up. Or oh, get the ball smashed in your face. That's what you want, isn't it? Oh, what was that? Bish, why'd you do that? He just pushed him, didn't he? Jesus. Free kick here. Late in Orient. Whoa. Why has Late in Orient got a big TV sports interactive? No one should have a big TV in a non-league. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to be late in Orient. Freaking non-stop show this, isn't it? No. Brown. Heads it to Raven. Come on, lad. Charging. Cutting inside. Finds Kano. Can he thread it through to Bishop? He has done. Can Bishop cross it in? No. Bish. That annoys me. It annoys me when you think you're getting an attack and it turns into a great tackle. But a tackle that's threaded through Chapman. Frenchy saves the day. Frenchy. Come on, Denton. Denton. I was going on about RN being full. It's not. Our fans could not be bothered travelling down to London. It is a bit of a mission for Manchester. I thought it'd be more, though. I thought both teams... I thought Leighton had more fans because two of the biggest teams in the league, aren't we? Um, but anyway, 35 minutes in. They're definitely bossing this game. We're on three yellows here. Some of them lads might have to come off purely to hopefully not have us go down to 10 men. I hate going down to 10 men. Here come Leighton Orient, and they've scored. Right at the death of the first half. James Henry, great goal. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It's a right deflator, isn't it? Ugh. End of the first half, you just let one in just at the end. Ugh. Might be punched in the gut. Can we get one back? Raven, great ball. Oh! <laughs> That's cheered us all up. Hey, you having it? Own goal. It's a funny old game. In it, aye, mate, aye. That was like half Cockney, half Australian. Don't know what the accent was. But this game can take you from there to there, or from there to there. I'm gonna stay calm. Just say, it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got. We deserve to win this. I don't think we do, but I'm gonna say that anyway. Yeah. Come on, boys. Come on. I have to make some changes soon. Them yellow cards are staring me in the face like that. We want to be red. I'm so happy, by the way, that now Collins and Marcus Day, the striker, who had black top faces, have now got faces. I just like having a person's face there so you can feel like you get to know them when, even if it's a crappy regen face, I like to think I'm getting to know them. When it's just darked out and it's just like a ghost. Um, it's Wardy. Great pass out wide to Dabo. Great name. High cross goes well over everyone. Bishop is going to pick this up. Is he going to turn it into a counter? No. He's long balling it. Trying to find Kano, 50p head. 
Well done. Great bit of defending. Use your face. And thread it through to Raven. Raven. Crap ball, mate. But Kano's nicked it. He's like a freaking little viper, isn't he? Slid in there. Took it. Scored it. 2-1. Oh, mate. That was ace. They hit it. In my guy's face. Bounced off his face. Threaded through to Raven. Raven kind of overshot it a bit. Defender couldn't get it. The Viper, that is Kano, slid in, nicked it, scored it. And here he is again. Brings it down like Zidane. Oh, God! Kano! Oh. Is it an own goal? That's not an own goal. That's Kano's. Hey, Class of 2019, Kano and um, Raven, top names, uh, teaming up. That is the future of this club. Half an hour to go. I'm going to praise him because we're actually winning. I think we've been looking on. We have, haven't we? Oh, everyone's fired up. Did you see that then? They all love the praise. They all loved it. I'm going to make some changes soon. Oh, they're back in it. They're back in it. What a game this is. Oh, they've just realised that Leighton Orient had only let in three goals this season, hadn't they? They've now let in the exact same amount against us and our mighty attack. It's just a shame my defence is shit. Okay, I'm going to make two changes. Bring off two of the others. I'm going to keep the sub because it's still quite a way to go. You never know what's going to happen. So I need that tactical option if it's available. Um, use it has been pants again. And that time's just flying, isn't it? That's brilliant. That couldn't be any better. Five minutes of extra time. Sometimes no highlights is a good thing, even when you make a YouTube series. Right, we are. There we are. Getting that is a freaking awesome result. That is brilliant. I think there's only one thing to do, as always, is be passionate. Give some bum slaps, some hugs, some, maybe even some kisses. Kano, love you. That was really special. I'll come back to my room later and give you a treat. How does the league look? Well, it looks like this. Pretty good. Um, we are sitting in third place, joint with Barrow and Leighton Orient. Barney are now one point clear at the top. Because they got beat 1-0. Filed, or Flid, whatever they call Um Where's Central? Manchester Central are in 14th. How did they do? They got they won 1-0 away against Barrow. Who oh, that's brilliant. Couldn't be any better. Next episode, normally I like to get good chunks out of the way. I usually have like eight game gaps, but I think I can't do that this time. I can't do it because Barnett's coming up in a few games uh, and it's only there and it's away from home and I like to challenge myself, especially in a live I want you to see us like that. Because when we turn up, we turn up. Happy days. Three points in the bank. And we've started pretty well. We're going to win this league. We'll just be the best team in it. Do you know what I mean? And by the end of the next episode, we might even have an even better idea. Because we're going to be playing Barnet away from home. You know, I'm just saying, this young team of mine is looking pretty special already. Uh, and they've only got time to grow. They're only going to get better and better, I think. I really, I really believe that. So, buzzing. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button. Support me and my channel. It's always appreciated. Thank you very much. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. Make sure you go and check out all my other videos. Go check out the rest of this series. I'm loving making it. Hopefully, you're all loving watching it. <sighs> Honestly, when that happens, games like that can make me the happiest man all day. Walking around like I've just had sex. Do you know what I mean? I might get some tonight now. I'm going to try the hardest. Anyway, I've been booed. You've been great. I'll see you next time.